Hi from Spain. My name is Franz Campoy, a 36 years old guy who has had the great luck to see the offer you shared in Salto to be a trainer in your project. I am going to speak a bit about me to show you why I am the best option to choose. At first, I have to say that graffiti and education saved my life. When I was a teenager, thanks to my necessity of sharing what I felt inside with my rebel spirit, I fell in love with graffiti. The first time I took a spray can, I did a mess in all around my town, writing my ugly tag with a silver color. I decided going on painting, but improving the quality of the technique to be the best I could be. I started researching other paint marks on the wall, and also my aim was practicing my tag and pieces in my notebook and my books. The teachers and my family often saw me like a problem, and I was in serious risk of leaving my studies and taking the wrong way for my life. But thanks to this passion, looking for the best line for my tag and pieces, I went directly into art, ended up in a school of art, and after two years going to study fine arts at the university. After that, I could paint not only with spray, but with pencils, watercolor, acrylic, oil, and not only on wall, but on canvas, wood, and good paper, and later on a screen. During the third year of my degree, one teacher offered me to paint on the wall of her high school, and I saw this chance to get some materials for free. And that was the moment I fell in love of sharing with others what art and education had given to me. I repeat that experience a lot of time, above all with young people in high school, until now. After my degree, I did a master to become a secondary teacher, and at the same time, I started traveling abroad to go further as an artist and also researcher of graffiti, mural, and urban art, knowing in 2013, Youth in Action and Erasmus Plus. Four years later, I got a job as an art teacher for a council in a town called Quintanar de la Orden. I went quickly to all the school and high school to make myself known in educational centers and further. We could make a group called Quinta Mancha's Crew, teaching them how to paint and how to work with art, painting several murals around the town. Meanwhile, I was painting murals getting involved with local community. At the same time, Every year I organize with the council a meeting for graffiti and urban artists, looking for walls in different places of the town, speaking with the owners of those walls, and coordinating the workers from the council to have them ready for being painted by the artist. There is a map where people can find the ubication of every mural. One of my biggest dreams I will always remember is when the School of Urban Art La Mancha was inaugurated. The city council I work for decided to entrust me with the mission of designing and directing the first urban art school with its building to make grow even more the education of urban art in the town. This piece of new appeared in one of the most important national TV channels. The other dream I have got is having with my wife my own graffiti shop in my garage, where not only me, but other graffiti writers come to get material to change the environment. Step by step, my name as a muralist became famous in the region, appearing in different media and newspaper or magazines, radio, and as I said before, even regional and national TV channel, and not only as a muralist, but as a teacher and researcher, going on with my PhD studies and traveling thanks to Erasmus+, Plus, taking part as a participant in the training course in Luxembourg called 
Urban Art and Co. The Power of Education Through Urban Art, where I gave a talk in Cufas Urban Art about my work Library of Urban Art in Alcázar de San Juan. Other projects were interesting, like The Power of Non-Formal Education with Joe Claes, Simona and Denis in Finland, where I had the chance to paint as well. But the best were in youth exchange called The Power of Art in Czech Republic as the group leader, where I did my first workshop as a trainer with all the European family teaching how to use spray in an artistic and social way. Another interesting information can be my EBS, helping as an art teacher in a cultural center and a high school of Poland. Six years later, I came back to Poland with my wife and my four sons to do an international stay related to my PhD work, urban art and non-formal education. There, by the hand of Fine Art University of Wood, I could learn on the terrain what other international artists had done there, like Eduardo Cobra from Brazil, Ethan Crew from Poland, Arith from Spain, Peta from Italy, or Bordalo II from Portugal. Also there, I had the opportunity to paint a mural in a firefighter station, getting involved with this group of heroes during one week. I had the chance to collaborate with one of the most important foundations of urban art in the world, called Urban Forms Fundacia, driving a workshop for third age people, teaching them how to use the spray to make stencil. Last but not least, I would like to speak about my work with formal education, working with non-formal education. Thanks to the Association of Art Teachers from Castilla-La Mancha, the Ministry of Education hired me to give two talks to all the art teachers of the different provinces, one of the, at the University of Fine Art in Cuenca and the other at the building of Ministry of Education. And then the ministry asked me to do an online course of 10 hours called From the Sketch to the Brick, teaching to the teachers how to make an education project with urban art and later how to use it in their centers. To finish this point, in June 2022, I drove the day of urban art in education, where Around 30 secondary teachers came to the School of Urban Art La Mancha to learn face-to-face -face how to paint with spray. I could go on speaking about workshops I have done for uh, disabled and special people, people with few opportunities, and other topics. But I think the first question about why I am sweet to be a trainer in this project is answered.